now we are going to start with the with the sketch line command for that reason we are going to play with this form I will modify a little bit that form and I will explain you at the end what did I do and what's the purpose of those modifications so let's start I will start with a label I want a label here and in this in this uh, area and these properties from this label here in text I can change the, uh, the text from this label so I will put something like And now I will look for a text box. Text box, yeah. Text box are used to put information that we are going to use um, later. So it will be the coordinate x, and I need another. another label I could co uh, copy and paste there is no problem but I have to change the, the text X <coughs> and copy page and Y now I need to do the same for the second point chords yeah oops excuse me oh yeah now we have to uh, it is not necessary but it's better to 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 assign a name for this uh, for this text box this name in the design property is the name that we are going to use in the code so it should be an easy name to recognize it text box x from point 1 text box y from point 1 Now let's go to the code here. Now here we are going to make the code to make the sketch the the line. So we are going to create a new variable. It will be x x1 as double and x1 is going to be the the value from the text box text box x1 yeah but it will be the text we have to take the text and to assign it to this variable like a double now in the same way uh, as the as I did with the x1 variable I have created the uh, others variables that I'm going to use to define the limits of the line now we have to create um, something like uh, Geometry constructor or a uh, 
Francine Geometry Constructor and uh, it will be in that way the TG for um, Transient Geometry as Transient 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 Geometry and it will be so what does it mean? it means that to the variable TG I'm going to assign a transient geometry all the transient geometry uh, those are circles or squares or uh, lines uh, elliptical arcs well all the transient geometries from the application from inventor now with these with those lines, with that code, with that variable, I can create entities like points. For example, team start line point point as point to D. Now start line point to D. I'm going to use my constructor to create a point to the end which are going to be those chords those coordinates from the from that point are going to be x1 and y1 yep. if you see that constructor this that we have created here has a method that method allows me to create points into the in a plane now I'm going to define the plane where I want to work with now now I have to define the plane where I want to work so I am going to do that Beam sketch. I want to work in the plane X Y as planar sketch in order to choose the plane. Yeah, sketch X Y, and we are going to be to use here the part definition. Why this part definition that we have defined here? If you remember, I said that the part def this variable have all the component definition from the part doc from this part doc in this component definition we can find operations or or entities like the planes and uh, in that way we can look for a plane where we want to work so sketch Now we have the code here. So what we're saying is that to the variable sketch xy as a planner sketch, we are going to add a sketch that is in the part def well in the or in the component definition from the part doc. We are going to add A work plane into the part defi definitions, but it is going to be the item number three. I will show you what does that three means. I will open a new part. And here in this folder we have the three planes 
and the item number three is the XY plane. This is the plane that we are going to use for the sketch. Now let's create the line, the line as um, sketch line yeah. and line is going to be we are going to work in the sketch XY in the plane XY we are going to make a sketch line and here we have those methods we are going to use that method add by two points because we have two points defined now the first point is start line point start line point and the second is the end line oh, excuse me end Uh, well, excuse me, I haven't create the end line point, but uh, we are going to create it here to create it here. We are going to use the constructor TG and create create uh, create line, create point, excuse me, create point to V and the chords will be x2 and y2 yeah. we have created the end point with the constructor here it is the same so um, let's start the program The first point is going to be zero, zero, and the second point is going to be one and one. And now we have here our line. from zero zero to one one 